How are you holding up? I mean, I think we're doing okay. I mean, granted the circumstances, um, you know, it's just, it's been a big adjustment. I mean, that's just kind of what we've been doing this whole time, you know, after having quintuplets. It's just, we're constantly just trying to figure things out. And this is no exception. I mean, this is a big one though. And yeah. it's, it's like a, every, ever since yeah, we've had is. family of six, it's like every day is like figure it out mode. And, you know, the trailer says it all started fine. And then it got crazy at the end. And that that's like our daily routine. Like yeah. every day it's like, it's so good in the morning. And then you're like, oh, now it's hours in the day. And it's, Insane. <laughs> I was just talking to Gabrielle Union, and she knows that you guys are coming on the show. And she said, oh, my gosh, quintuplets. For everyone to still wrap their minds around your journey, Danielle, I read a lot about you are about schedule and order. And this pandemic and being on lockdown, the quarantine, I mean, there is no such thing as schedule. We don't even know what day of the week it is anymore. So I can't imagine when you have quints running around. That is very much me. I love routine order schedule. And, you know, from the beginning of when we got on our stay at home orders, um, I created a new routine, a new schedule for mm -hmm. us. And then it lasted for a good week before everyone was just like, why are we not going anywhere? Like, why yeah. are we stuck in here? And so, yeah, I agree. It's, we never know what today is. It's, we feel like it's back on the beginning days where we were feeding quints around the clock and every day was just like groundhog day. And we never could, you know, we never knew what time of the day it was because it didn't matter. It was just all repeat, repeat, repeat. And we're back in that cycle again. Wow, this is the new, are we there yet? You know, when you were in the car with the kids and they're like, are yeah. we there yet? It's the, are we going to be able to go outside yet? And when you have six people asking you that all day long, what do you answer, Adam? The extent of going places right now is loading them up in the van and going down into like fast food or whatever and pick something up in the drive-thru and coming straight home and eating it and, you know, outside or something or try to have a picnic. But it's like whenever we're trying to get them to go into the van, you know, they're like, do I need shoes? I'm like, no, you don't need shoes because you're not getting out. <laughs> we're not really Sorry. going anywhere. <laughs> so, I mean, you're just going to see a change of scenery because we're going to ride around the van for a little bit. But, I mean, that's just the extent of it right now. Well, I imagine you get out of the house faster because you don't have to get six pairs of shoes on yeah. them to all get out the door. But you had to shoot this final episode of the show yourselves. The crew was forced to leave. I, again, can't imagine doing a reality show with six kids anyway, but now you had to do the technical work and manage the kids. Was there a point where you thought, maybe I, I, we can't finish this season? I mean, whenever they, they initially approached us and said, look, pretty much everyone around the world obviously is having to sit at home and like, hey, we've shot a few episodes already. Let's just go ahead and put them on air, but we need to finish them. And can y'all do that? And we were just like, uh... It's very different. I mean, we we do have, like, a family YouTube channel that we, you know, we do, like, day-to-day -day vlogs and stuff from time to time or whenever we go places. But this is much different, obviously, you know, on a television show and mm -hmm. having, you know, making sure that, you, you know, your audio is clear and you're catching different angles and all this stuff. And, <laughs> and all the while parenting six kids at the same time. It was definitely an undertaking, for sure. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Morning. And like, I have to ask you, hi, what is it like being the big sister? I kind of like being the big sister. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> What's the best part of being the big sister? What's the part you kind of like? I get to boss them around. <laughs> <laughs> For one thing, they listen to her better than they listen to us most of the time. What does Blake have that um, Danielle, you and Adam don't have? What's the secret she's got? I don't know. We need to figure that out. She's got the big sister secret. <laughs> She's just the fun one. <laughs> <laughs> She's the fun one. So the Quints turned five years old on April 8th. Happy birthday, girls. Thank you. Thank you. And Blake turned nine three the... days before that. Oh, my gosh. So what was, I mean, did you do one big birthday? What was that like? Well, we had big plans, obviously, and then coronavirus, you know, kind of took over. So we had a let's sing happy birthday around the kitchen table with just us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> which is very different for us because we have a pretty big family. And so we always feel like family's around and it was very unique and different for us to have like, I'm gonna call it our solo birthday celebration. Yeah. <laughs> this is truly one big part of you are out daughtered, but certainly <laughs> uh, nothing cuter than what I'm looking at here. So congratulations on your fifth season. I'm so happy for y'all be watching.